Brown and Bill Raftery are working the microphones for you. Iowa State, UNC Charlotte. Enjoy this one. All right, Pat, thank you very much, and welcome back to the Central Men Worcester Mask for Game 2 between the 7th seed 49ers of UNC Charlotte and the 10th seed Cyclones of Iowa State. Earlier in Game 1, Kentucky advanced by finally shaking Old Dominion. Kentucky now awaits the winner of this contest. And good afternoon, everyone. I'm James Brown. Well, between these two teams, only one player, Jack Boley, a reserve for UNC Charlotte, brings any tournament experience to the table. And as I bring in my partner, Bill Raffrey, Bill, that's got to be a concern for both coaches in terms of perhaps first tournament game jitters. A concern, but they do have some answers. Uh, Mike mentioned Henry Williams. All Jeff Mullins has to do is hand him the basketball. He'll shoot the threes for them. He'll take it to the goal. He's an excellent passer and has an infectious smile, which we both have enjoyed these last couple of days. And then Johnny Orr. Here comes Johnny. <laughs> Justice Thickman, a sweet shooter, a guy that has a personality that pushes his team forward. He's got an aggressive nature and a guy that goes without the basketball very well. Talk about infections. Your enthusiasm is as well. Hey, Johnny Orr also has a pleasant surprise this season, a European addition to the uh, team. You can't remember the name. Oh, yeah, I got it. <laughs> Julius Mikalik. And the reason this youngster, he passes, he sees the floor, and he takes shots. But the reason he's excelled this year, he doesn't understand the thing Johnny Orr has been telling him. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to do it. Johnny Orr, kind of a homecoming for Johnny Orr, who coached at UMass nearby back in the early 60s. Starting lineups for both ball clubs. As you take a look at them, the matchup will be the backcourt of UNC Charlotte and the big inside strength of Iowa State. The referees for game two here at the Centrum, Bob Garibaldi out of Stockton, California, Danielle Gray from Fort Washington, Maryland, and John Koskinen from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We take a look at the tournament profiles of both of these squads. Iowa, one of five remaining Big 8 teams. And UNC make that uh, UNC Charlotte. Actually, though, they played in the 1977 Final Four. Cedric Maxwell was a the guy there. And despite winning, the Metro Conference did not receive an automatic bid to the tournament. That conference... So well thought up, therefore the bids. from the pictures being cut there, Bill. The 14,000 fans here in Worcester love their basketball. They're still here for game two. Uh, the town has been delighted to have the visitors haven't experienced this in Massachusetts ever. First time ever, you're right, that NCAA tournament games being played here in the state of Massachusetts. And they didn't have the necessary teams to have that bid in time. So the NCAA forced an auspicious start here to the game for the announcers anyway as Daryl Duvall comes crashing into the table knocks the coca-cola all over Bill and myself and we'll try to go on that's good it's early in the day it's only coca-cola the 49ers with the ball Henry Williams and a good strong move underneath as Odom Gets the 49ers on the scoreboard first, and they lead it to zip. Shot from the outside, and the three good. Iowa State, as Howard Eaton drops in the basket, he's averaging eight. He's got three already. JB, you carry on. I'm going to shower. <laughs> I wish they could see. What we're trying to work with is our player boards have been completely drenched. Ink is running everywhere. <laughs> now, we played UNCC Ch Charlotte when I was coaching, and Cedric Maxwell, Maxwell killed me. Then I was announcing he ran over me in Boston Garden, and now the ball. So I've had enough of this club. <laughs> Ron Bayless with the rebound and brings it up court. And the shot from Hoiberg, <laughs> rebounded by Odom. Hoiberg, a very talented youngster. 
very creative. Of course, goes without the ball very well. Pretty talented as well. The left feet, three foot. H. Williams. He'll light it up a few times. Iowa State setting up a 4-3 ball game. 49ers on top. Just underway here. And from the free throw line, scored the basket by Justice Thigpen, who was teasing us, Billy, and said, hey, please, don't make fun of my name. That's a good name, an effective name. Well, he said, uh, you can get Mikalik wrong, but get mine right. <laughs> a 5-4 ball game. Iowa State on top. Inside to Odom. Odom, good, strong move. And the tap in. No good. The ball was still in the cylinder. Well, we take it back to the beginning, and folks, here we are right here as Duvall knocks the coke over Bill Raftery and myself. And look at the mess we're trying to work with now. We're going to call the game from memory, Bill. <laughs> JB was under the table, and folks, I was right on top of him. <laughs> uh, fun in the NCAA tournament. Back to action here. Henry Williams. Stolen. Good hands that time by Mikalik. And a pass back to Mikalik. Can't get the drop. And Duvall with the rebound. Furious action in the early goal. Iowa State, a very good running team. Still good at Odom. Boy, Odom is coming out awfully strong. As Odom drops in his fourth point. Uh, early in the year, I just got the point over from Henry. Uh, early in the year, scouts were unclear whether he could play. He can score, we know, but he can dish, as he did that time. Three-point shot by Bayless is good. Ron Bayless, the junior guard out of Indianapolis, averaging 12 on a season, and it's an 8-6 Cyclones lead. Notice the strategy, get it out of Williams' hand. I prevent him from touching it as often as possible. Easy up, easy up. Inside to Duvall. Duvall walking clearly that time. Needed a bag for that travel. He had a kick out pass. Never looked while he set up. Running the floor. Nice give up. Got to catch the ball. Whether it's in America or Czechoslovakia. You got to squeeze the apple. Julius Mikalik from Czechoslovakia. Cedric Broadhurst in for UNC Charlotte. Bayless gets his own rebound and scores. Ron Bayless at 6-1 in the land of the Giants with the tap in. Quickness to elevate. This is Henry Williams with the ball. Iowa State jamming up in there. Positional man to man. The ball. Nice job of keeping the ball above his head, Bill. And late with the support. Nip and tuck in the early going. 10-8 ball game. Iowa State on top. Iowa State, the number 10 seed. I mentioned one of five remaining Big 8 teams in the conference and make that in the tournament. Nebraska losing last night. Bayless' shot rebounded by Eaton. He can shoot it from out here. Mikalik, and he gets it. A three-pointer from Julius Mikalik. 6-11. You know how they teach the game in Europe? They say, come on about 40 feet out, and we'll work on your three-point shot. And then they eventually bring you inside <laughs> to mix it up. Everybody can shoot deep. A big man dream. Broadhurst. Nice-looking move by Cedric Broadhurst, the junior guard out of Mount Olive, North Carolina. Of course, the kid that comes to mind is Drazen Petrovic with the Nets, who's a great deep shooter. But they certainly have a feel for the game. A lot of coaches have gone over to teach it. Big pin off the mark. Rebound is strong by Broadhurst. He's brought some activity, activity with him off the bench. Oh. And Williams, well, he's Mr. Activity on the floor. On the run, the smoothness and the hesitation to kiss it. Four points for Henry Williams, averaging 20. Eaton, back up. Broadhurst, yet another rebound. Boy, he's thrown some springy legs off the bench. Oh, my English teacher didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> I know your mother did. Oh, Bill, I'm getting a little excited here. Huh? Hope the English teachers of America didn't hear that one. Very relaxed <laughs> right now, both clubs, JB. Loose, looking for their own individual moves. Hey, Bill, there's no way they can keep this pace throughout the game. Uh, they'll give it a shot, particularly with Williams at the throttle. 
They're effective with him at the point or off the ball. So Jeff has a nice little piece here by Thigpen. And Terrell's shot is blocked by Thigpen, and there's a foul that Donnie Gray has underneath. Thank you, Doctor. I'm not a real doctor, but if I were, I'd recommend ligament for occasional muscle pain. Still going. Nothing outlasts the Energizer. They keep going and going. The telegram said, if you can beat Johnny Orr once, you can beat him again. Go 49ers. Back to you, JB. All right, Curry. Well, Johnny Orr is certainly one of the craftiest coaches around, so that will be a tough task indeed. Johnson, the high arcing shot, no good. Loose ball. And a foul whistle under the basket. Now, the one thing in looking at tapes, Mikalik does not snatch the basketball and be aggressive. And they're, they're new people. As well, Meyer's going to be a stronger player eventually, but you've got to sneak, uh, snatch the opportunity. Grab the basketball. Julius Mikalik with two personal fouls. And Doc drops in the person, and there's that 77 team that Curry was talking about. Chad Kinch was on that team. We mentioned Cedric Maxwell, a very talented team, and Lee Rose coach throughout the tournament, and not one hair was out of place. He put a few people's <laughs> out of place. Mr. Watt. Yeah, nice player, Melvin. A one-point 49ers lead. Help, help. And a block. Foley. Great looking block by Jack Foley as he goes up the 6'9 center. Smacks it away. Get it out of here, huh, Bill? Oh, uh, good attention to business there as Hoiberg had turned the corner. Easy, 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 yeah. Oh! Yeah. 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 Lauren Meyer. They run a lot of stuff to bring you away from the basket and then back to Iowa State. Lauren Meyer at 6'11", battling hard on the inside. And Bayless, who loves to tee it up defensively, has a tough assignment of Williams. Rogers, the young man that I said who brought a pair of springy legs off the bench, well, continues. Get, <laughs> when they get up that high, you can use it correct <laughs> My professors at Harvard wouldn't appreciate that. And a traveling violation on Lauren Meyer. Already today, number 10, Tulane, upsets number 7, St. John's. And Michigan State, boy, had a tough one with Southwest Missouri State. Kentucky didn't break out of this one until the last five minutes of the ball game as ODU couldn't hang in there. Dot with the double clutch. Shot was altered that time by Meyer. Well, Iowa State does have some nice size to go to on the bench. And they are not afraid to get down the floor. Of course, the quick tee up that time, deep by Bayless. The big guys can run. Daniel Johnson throws it to Williams, and Williams can't find the mark. Mikalik with the rebound. This is the tougher lineup for UNCC. Johnson can penetrate and find others, particularly Williams. Well, you know, Mikalik certainly didn't look powerful on the inside, but he is agile from the outside. And Donnie Gray whistles a foul and will be back to shoot the free throws after this. Number 25, Cedric That's his first. Carbonated drink, I'll call it, spilled on us at the start of the game. I have since become a little too hyper. No free throws being shot. A foul was called, mm -hmm. though, by Donnie Gray. Iowa State ball. Trying to get organized. Here's their high 2-3. They get back cuts. You notice UNCC soft on the wing so they don't give up that backdoor layup. And speaking of backdoor, we'll see a few tonight. Oh, Princeton playing the Qs. The Masters at backdoor. Meyer 
6'11 inside off the back of the rim and Broadhurst owning the defensive glass for the 49ers. Third consecutive rebound for him and got using that big body on the inside. 6'6", 220, he pulls his way up. Elano Johnson just gives it up, creates havoc for the defense. Nice dish by him. 49ers on top by three. Off the side of the glass, the shot that time by McCoy. Elano Johnson. Billy had an asthma condition that was found to be affecting his stamina early on, taking medication. He's only about 85, 90%. And you also mentioned had a potassium deficiency. Uh, a, a deficiency, and Jeff Mullins said that he's the guy they've missed. And all of a sudden, the last couple of days at practice, he seems to have his stamina up. He can turn the corner, kick it to the wing for the three, or down low for the power. And the big fellas are happy to see him back and healthy. Anytime you got a good passing guard, certainly Jeff Mullins can appreciate that. You'd like to see him back. How about Jeff's ability to shoot? He'd like to play with anybody who like to pass. <laughs> <laughs> Kenneth Wiley back in the game for UNC Charlotte, as well as Justice Thigpen. Thigpen replacing Ron Bayless. I think if you look at UNCC, Odom is a guy that has to contribute. Got to keep him on the floor. Pretty good jump shooter. First tough pass, guy going away from the basket. Not much he can do once he gets it. So he has to play within himself. Here at UCLA, then the suggestion that he go to a JC, San Jack, so that he didn't interrupt his eligibility years, and then on to UNCC. Uh, he thought with a few talented players coming into UCLA that he might not receive much playing time. Rodney Odom, that is, we're speaking of. Mm -hmm. Iowa State, one of its last eight from the field. One of nine. Eaton got away with one. The 49ers on the run, and Terrell misses. Regained by Dotton. Nice control by Dotton, too. And Terrell hacked from behind that time by Justice Thigpen, the kind of defensive play that coaches hate to see, a lazy foul. Well, that's the Mexican D, huh? The Matador, but this is one I thought that was undetected. Lead in, <laughs> you get those bodies attached and hope you can walk to the stripe. That wasn't too subtle either. <laughs> Good mobility, nice hook shot. Back of the iron, though. Hoiberg saves it to Eaton. Big pin. Good control, didn't have it. Good return to defense on a part of the 49ers. Meyer. They Big get, pin, they, like to put it up, don't they? They get good shots, though. Very simple. Guard goes off on the shuffle cut and screen the big guy. Johnson over in the corner, and Terrell can't find the range. A foul on James. Is that on Kenneth Wiley? Yeah, I think they gave it to Wiley. Kenneth Wiley picks up the foul for the 49ers. Boy, Jeff Mullins has certainly done a nice job down there with that program, has he not? Well, Mullen was uh, uh, the AD down there, and then when Jim Balvano and North Carolina State had their disagreements, they decided to eliminate you could only coach or be an AD, and he... Uh, He's, I think he's vice chancellor now, or vice president. <laughs> That's what I call uh, walking away from danger with a fat backside, huh? A little something in the wallet? No doubt about it. A little late, Wiley. That's two. Pippet, nice Brad cut. Pippet, mm -hmm. Trying to cut through. Wiley with the foul. UNC Charlotte, foul number 21, Kenneth Wiley. Second personal Second. foul. On Wiley, and that's the third team foul for the 49ers. That Duke connection on that bench over there. You got Kevin Billerman and Mullins, both former Dukies. I used to tease G-Man. You had to wear Argyle's, Argyle socks in the old days. <laughs> I don't think either one of us ever had any, did we? Not at all. They stayed in the drawer. Eaton. Howard Eaton, the 6'6 forward with the basket. And it's an 18-17, 49ers lead, 8-48 left in the first half of play. The 49ers, the number seven seed here in the East, playing the number 10 seed, Iowa State. 
They'll attack in that corner, use the sideline. Should have passed it to the wing. Meyer with the rebound. Throws it away. And alert Henry Williams comes up with the loose ball. Really, these guys are quick. <laughs> they, they All of them. Well, the intensity level, too, early in this game. I thought it heated up a little later in the Kentucky ODU game. Mm -hmm. A little more nerves, maybe by Kentucky particularly. A little double screen. Terrell. And he is having his troubles. 0 of 7 from the floor. Duvall trying to keep it alive. And finally, 1 of 8 from the floor for James Terrell. Officials let them play a little. You could you could stay in this game as a player. And you know, you can tell by the expressions on the faces of the players, no complaints either. No. I mean, it's good, solid contact. Here's the same play they ran earlier for the jump shot. A little guard around now. Big pin. Three-point range. Side of the glass, rebounded by Duvall. Of course, Charlotte doing a nice job on the defensive glass. Wyland, it's a two. Score it. What James makes, Wiley with a two. What makes Williams special, JB, he'll give it up. Gabe Wiley in the open floor, the open opportunity. Henry, Williams tardy. Well, you hate to see those kinds of fouls. That one on Williams. You and she CBS. The art of brewing is about control. Controlling the process, the quality of the ingredients. Every little detail. That's how we bring you a great beer. Well, once it leaves here, you're the one in control. We want you to enjoy our beer. At a ball game, a barbecue. At dinner with the family. The Cyclones try, but not successfully, to weather a 14-4 run by UNCC. Iowa State trailing 22-17 with 7.04 left in the first half. Big pin. A rope shot that connects. Within three, Henry Williams now bringing it up. I like this strategy of having him give it up, but then you've got to prevent him from getting it back. Bayless tardy. Iowa State doing a good job of keeping him out, That's though. Great point, mm -hmm. JB. Williams not in scoring territory at all. James Terra with the shot off the glass and rebounded by Mickley. This is Iowa State. The number 10 seed on offense. Playing against the seventh seed here in the East, UNC Charlotte. James Brown along with Bill Raftery. A 14 to 4 run. What a rub off by Big Ben. And Iowa State starting to come back. It was a 14 to 4 run a couple of minutes ago that had UNCC ahead by four. And it's now a one point ball game. 22 21. The 49ers of UNC Charlotte. And the reason Charlotte got ahead, fast pace, give it ahead for the open jump shots. Iowa State looking to run on occasion, but nice half-court use of the basketball. Duvall, Too nice easy. move. Too easy. You know, while Iowa State does, in fact, have a size advantage on the inside, the big guys aren't powerful guys. They like the outside play instead. Mickelick would like to be out by the half-court line. And Broadhurst fouling. Fred Hoiberg. Well, earlier here in Worcester, Kentucky got by Old Dominion in the last five minutes of the game. Had been a nip and tuck affair up until that point. Kentucky will await the, uh, the winner, that is, of this contest between Iowa State and UNC Charlotte. Massachusetts in Fordham, Syracuse in Princeton in the evening sessions. Big pin into Eden. Eden collects himself and scores. Howard Eden averaging eight points a ball game. He's got seven. And it's a one-point ball game still. Iowa State trailing by one. 5-13 left in the first half of play. Well, Duvall has been doing a nice job, but with a, a perimeter type of team, you occasionally forget the inside people. I would go back to him. 
Williams has been working hard throughout the first half. A foul that time called on Ron Bayless. Henry Williams averaging 20 points a game. He's got only four as Iowa State Bill has done a nice job of containing it. Doubling up, hedging, on the penetration, pinching. They're going to have to kick the ball and set some bumps for Williams. The ball hands full there with New Mexico State. Oh, tough one there, Cincy and Delaware. Nice to see those new names, though, on board. Cincy trying to dust off some cobwebs of glory of old. Mm -hmm. Early 60s, back to back. Tough miss. Eaton. Bayless. Look at this kid rebound. He's a tough player, JB. The guy he's talking about is Fred Hoiberg, a freshman forward out of Ames, Iowa. Big eight freshman of the year and Mr. Everything in high school in Iowa. Mr. Basketball. They say he was a pretty good football player, too. Terrific without the ball. And Johnny Orr said, hey, I'm not thinking of retiring with guys like him around. Williams back of the iron and a foul underneath. I don't think they got Mikalik or Eaton. Judging by Mikalik's expression, it looks to be him. But they actually call it on Eaton. So Howard Eaton picks up the personal foul. His first 15 foul for Iowa State. The guy taking it out is usually the most a back screen that stepped to the ball. And Williams was that man. Talk about a game of spurts and eight to two Iowa State run. And Iowa State is on top by one. Nine lead changes here in the first half. Pretty nice credit. pass. And Odom with the slams. Well, the big guy will get the credit. The little guy made it happen. You got to take care of those little guys. They sure they're taking the dinner. Hoiberg, nice pass over to Mikkeli. Rebound is strong by Dot. Now Rue Dot. Oh, Hoiberg runs into his own man. Goes over to Iowa State. A little out of control, but the little guy creates. Well, Williams doing an awful lot of things. The slip pass. Send it in, Rodney. That'll make you smile, Mr. Odom. Star forward for Kentucky, Jamal Mashburn, getting an early look at what the competition will be like on Sunday. Kentucky, of course, having knocked off ODU. Here it's 26-25, UNCC on top of Iowa State with 3-10. Left in the first half of play. And Odom changing up the mind of Ron Bayless. Coming up at halftime, at the half. A familiar name back in the studio, Pat O'Brien, along with Mike Francesa. I know Mike is enjoying all of this to the maximum. Absolutely, those two together. Having some fun, I'm sure. We're having some fun, even if it is wet fun. <laughs> I'm sure Mike listening most of the time. <laughs> two, three set. They have not gotten a back cut, JB. The strength of their game. Got to get it up. Off the mark as Cedric Broadhurst gets the loose ball. This is Johnson. And Henry Williams a little frustrated that time that Delano Johnson held on to it a little too long. Williams has been working hard trying to get free, Billy, and they got to give him the ball when he is open. Odom off the glass. Broadhurst off the glass and misses. And JB, the frustration because Iowa State paying attention to him. Williams can't get free that often. Tough here, Zig. That's why a lot of guys put a fist out to say, I'm going back door. So that type of play doesn't have a guy fakes going or coming out and goes the other way. Under two to play in the first half. Bad miss that time by Delano Johnson. Now, to finish your thought on Williams, Bayless is a phenomenal defender. He held Anthony Peeler 
around the 30% mark in three games. And we all know how good Anthony is, and he never got over 20 points in those games. So, Bayless wearing Henry. And Bayless also getting some help from his teammates, jumping out to stop Williams whenever he tries to make a move. Big pin guarded by Terrell. Hoiberg, nice move, double clutches, and is fouled by Odom. Motion in there. <laughs> nice little screen. Uh, big guys have a difficulty when they're asked to counter react. That is, take the first cut, help if there is a switch, and then go to the man. Odom picks up the personal foul. That's foul number one. Odom generally stays out of foul trouble. As Hoiberg nails the first, the man nicknamed the mayor. Mm. Hoiberg, that is. Well, yeah. He's playing like this when he got there. What got them going was that, what, what did Johnny Orr tell us? We we're the state champion. We've beaten everybody. That's right. <laughs> Northern Iowa. Iowa said Iowa got him going. Those two free throws by Hoiberg, the first free throws for Iowa State. Oh. Now that is a frustration oh, shot. That sure is. With 34 seconds left on the shot clock, that's not what you'd call off a set play. Billy, that was about, what, 8 to 10 feet beyond the three-point line? Amazing. 30-foot jumper. <laughs> well, Look at that. you got to have strength, oh. courage, and the free reign by your coach. A lot of guys that get the hook. Sparky Anderson would have had him out, huh? Fella, set him up. Let him get a few easy ones. Uh, NCAA play, funny things happen. Things that don't go don't, that go smoothly during the year. Occasionally, other people looking at say prepare a little better. You're forced to go to options. Bob uh, Broadhurst tries to make the second free throw. Mikalik comes in to replace Norman Brown for Iowa State. And Broadhurst, only a 54% free throw shooter, drops in the second one. 28-26 ball game. Iowa State on top with 105 left. Odom blocks an attempted dunk by Hoiberg. Well, get the tell out. Hoiberg's got to get the yoke off the face. Nice. And Dotton completes the play with the basket, and we're tied. Broadhurst with a gorgeous look. Big pin. Counter. He wanted that one badly. Clearly he wanted that one. Big pin. With eight points. Got a little problem with the clock. 36.1 seconds left on the game clock. And you see the shot clock with no time. Donnie Gray, the official, trying to sort matters out here. The last 36.1 seconds of the first half, all tied between Iowa State and Jeff Mullins' 49ers of UNC Charlotte. And, Billy, has the first half been what you expected? Well, I thought Williams would play within himself a little bit. I'm very surprised how Iowa State has disturbed him and disrupted their flow. Henry Williams with the ball, the leading scorer for the 49ers with... A 20-point average on the season. He has only four in the first half. Uh, Baylor's trying to do a job out with a little nickel timer. Half court by Big Pen with the reach in. It's so tempting. Big Pen picks up the personal foul. As you take a look at the brackets in game one here in Worcester, Kentucky over Old Dominion. Kentucky now awaits the winner of this contest, Iowa State and UNC Charlotte. Massachusetts and Fordham to come later on in the evening set along with Syracuse mm. and Princeton. So many people looking forward to seeing that one, the different style, contrasting styles. How many coaches do you think anxiously look forward to playing Princeton in the first round? None, unless they're retiring. <laughs> Pete has a way of putting you away, quickly. James Terrell drops in his first free throw, first point, as Rick Patino, obviously scouting. And Peter Strickland there, who coached in Ireland uh, a few years, the ODU assistant. You know, getting ready a little bit. Peter Strickland. 
ex-Dematha guy. Mm -hmm. A lot of Dematha players and coaches up in this region here. Well, Morgan, Hall of Famer, writing books now, trying to catch up with you. Five seconds left as Hoiberg launches a shot. Meyer. Eaton. Three shots at it, and Iowa State can't get it to drop. So the 49ers of UNC Charlotte lead Johnny Orr Cyclones by the score of 31 to 29. CBS Sports exclusive coverage of the NCAA Basketball Championship will continue after this message and a word from your local station. Pat O'Brien and Mike Francesa will be along in a moment. CBS Sports exclusive. Mexico State and DePaul right now. The Aggies uh, hanging in there with the number five seed. In fact, not only hanging in, they're up 52 to 38 right now in the second half, a game we'll keep uh, track of all day here in New York. Let's go to Atlanta now. Greg Gumbel and Quinn Buckner have Georgia Southern and Oklahoma State. 13-29 left. Georgia Southern up. And to those of you just joining us here at the Omni in Atlanta, 13 and a half minutes to play in the game. Oklahoma State leading at 57 to 43. The Cowboys have run off a 10 nothing run in the last three minutes. And Byron Houston and Sean Sutton have combined for 39 of Oklahoma State's points. And the outside shooting of Georgia Southern, which has carried them to a 25 and 5 record so far this season, hasn't shown itself today, Quinn. Well, it, it, not only has it not shown itself, they, the few times they get opportunities for fast breaks, they, they've made bad decisions. And, and, and as we talked about earlier, Greg, they're not accustomed to athletes being bigger than they are, but yet still have some quickness and just the overall size of Houston and Brian Reeves, who played well in the early second half and, and all of the first half. It's just been too much for Georgia Southern to overcome. The Eagles come up empty at the free throw line at that trip. Regular season and tournament champions in the Trans-American Athletic Conference. Byron Houston for three. So you got to guard him out there. Now when you say, oh, I forced him out so he'll miss that one. Oklahoma State enjoying its largest lead of the day to 60 to 43 with 13 minutes to play. And the 43 is, is significant because you're talking about a team in Georgia Southern that averaged 92 points a game. Almost 13 minutes to go, they only had 43 points. Earlier today here in Atlanta, Tulane knocked off St. John's and will play the winner of this game later tonight. Arizona, East Tennessee State, Michigan against the Owls of Temple University. Arizona is a team that I think. So two teams with contra contrasting styles here. I'll get it out. Oklahoma State and Georgia Southern. Any surprises here for you, Mike? Not really, Pat. I think Oklahoma State is a team that has everything. They can score inside with Byron Houston. They can go outside. They have experience. And they can play fast and they can play slow. Georgia Southern likes to play fast. They can do it either way. I think they're a legitimate Final Four contender. There it is, folks. Uh, Oklahoma State may be in the Final Four, according to Mark, uh, Mike. Uh, New Mexico State surprising DePaul right now. They're up by 10 in Tempe. Brad Nessler and Ann Mike. 14 15 to go in this west regional first round game and depaul having trailed by 14 they cut it down to 52 44 with ann myers i'm brad nessler and the blue demons making a run annie New mexico state has played great defense against the blue demons but they've gotten back in by being patient themselves on defense and making the aggies play a little bit on offense trailer Offensive foul. Another turnover against the Aggies. Neil McCarthy's club led at one point by 15 in the first half, 14 in the second half, and now it's an eight-point ball game. With 15, make it 13, 53 to play. 52-44, Aggies in front. So the Aggies continue to dis surprise DePaul. How is DePaul coming back? Well, DePaul, uh, Pat, has been very sloppy in this game. They've turned it over. New Mexico State, really with their 2-3 matchup zone, gave them all kinds of problems, switched to a man-to-man. -man. But at DePaul, you're getting the feeling last couple of minutes of this game being more patient, both ends of the floor. And I think they're about ready to make a run in this ball game. All right, we'll keep an eye on it for you and for everybody else out there as the road to the Final Four continues here on CBS after this. find out which of these two teams will meet Kentucky, the 49ers or the Cyclones. And speaking of Kentucky, Curry Kirkpatrick is standing by with Rick Pitino. Curry? Thanks, thanks, JB. We have Rick Pitino of Kentucky through to the next round. Rick, Charlotte and Iowa State, not, not much to choose between the two. Who would you rather play? 
You know, it really doesn't matter, but they do pose different problems, certainly. You have to stop the great backcourt of North Carolina Charlotte, although they are big, and Iowa State is a very physical team at times, so either team, it really doesn't matter. Rick, this is old home week for you. Uh, you went to Massachusetts, coached down the road at Providence College. Has it, has it been wonderful coming back? It has been. You gotta stay away from the distractions now, fortunately. It's been great for me. I wish it, wish we were in a different region for our fans, though. We bring a lot of people, and we didn't have that many today. Thanks a lot, Rick. Good, good, good luck to you. Back to you, JB. All right, Curry, and Justice Thigpen coming back quickly for Iowa State as he knocks home a jumper. And Iowa State in, on top by one, 32-31. And Bayless all over Williams, J.B., and they have a little history, don't they? That they do. As a matter of fact, Bayless said that he would, in fact, shut down Williams as Darrell Duvall throws down the baseline jumper. These two guys play against each other in high school in Indianapolis, and Billy, what's the deal there? Well, they, uh, Henry won two out of three, uh, but he's not gotcha. having an easy go right now with all the support he's getting. Hoiberg bumped by Wiley, no foul call. And you're right, Bayless has in fact received some help in shutting down Henry Williams in the first half. Williams averaging 20 points on the season, only four in the first half. Look how they stretch this defense. We'll see this tonight when Princeton comes out. They deploy using all the wood. Nicolay can't get the drop. That spread offense for Iowa State works to the big men's advantage. They are quick. Williams can't find the range. Up ahead to Thick Ben. To Mikalik. Runs the floor well. And he does. And the give back by Justice. His daddy taught him. An old Pittsburgh Piper. Now that's before your time in the ABA. <laughs> Connie Hawkins era. But I do remember. I do remember. You read about it. That's right. Another Hawk. Another Hall of Famer. Julius Mikalik with the basket for Iowa State. Duvall over to Odom. Odom got away with the walk that time, but scored. Nice, aggressive move, though. Nice moves for the big man, period. He really is agile. See, Rodney's not used to playing outside with a guy like Nick He likes to bump up down low. Bayless off the front of the iron. This is Williams. Odom. Hoiberg with the rebound. This is Thickpin. Up ahead to Eaton. Eaton with the wide open jumper. Can't convert. Nice. The tap in by Julius Nikoli. Odom did not get down and check out. This went straight up, relied on ability. Mikalik with seven points, averaging 12 on the season. You notice Eaton out doubling up, making Williams give it up. Just good team coordination by Iowa State. Duvall backing his way in, still can't get the drop. Gets the rebound and a walking violation. Good hustle by Duvall, but it nets nothing. Uh, Rodney, as you mentioned, got a few steps out of this, but mm -hmm. the aggressive nature is something as he collects and finishes. They'll need a little more run. 36-35, Cyclones on top. Cyclones is the number 10 seed from the Big 8. Big 8 did have six representatives in the NCAA field. Now it's down to five. UNC Charlotte, a number 7 seed, and the ball stays. Iowa State, DePaul, battled back from a 14-point halftime deficit, trailing by just five now. Cincinnati comfortably ahead of Delaware. Cincinnati, a team that just disturbs you with their changes defensively. Not easy to prepare for. And it's been a close affair here all afternoon. Neither team shot particularly well, as a matter of fact, below their season's average in the first half. And there have been 17 lead changes. Using the floor. Big pin. Deep corner shot for three. Rebounded by Dyton. This is Williams. Henry Williams trying to find a way to get oh, off. Oh. Finally does. The lingerie is lingering behind. As Williams points to the scorer's table and to the announce table saying, I think I'm back. Well, he had to relax a little as they post up Hoiberg. But this will leave a lot of excess baggage behind as you're back on your heels defensively. Explosive. Shake, bake, and take it. Strong to the goal. He really is one effervescent young man. He is explosive. A very personal guy, as you noted. Big pin. Boy, big pin. 
starting to uncork. Thirty-eight, thirty-seven, and Billy, you talk at the top about Thigpen and Williams, and they're trying to heat up. Well, that's not really any great insight into the game. Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> two premier players. Well, I wanted to give you a little credit. Broadhurst would love to have that one back. And Dotton called for traveling. It'll be Iowa State ball when we come back. Back here at the Centrum in Worcester, Massachusetts. First round action here in the East. Number 10, Iowa State taking on the seventh seeded 49ers of UNC Charlotte. A one point ball game. Iowa State ahead. This is Thick Fan for three. Odom with the rebound. Coaches love to come with a play off a timeout. A little double screen for Thigpen with a quick release, JB. Nice cut. Oh. Good pass over to Odom. Nice unselfish move by Henry Williams, who, while he has not gotten off offensively, could have been selfish on that. Slight of hand, but comfortable now. I thought he was forcing it. Didn't relax that time. The penetration and the wizardry. Of course, Walt Williams is the wizard. Oh, yes. Merlin great. Walt Williams definitely has a stake on that name. Young man playing for the Terrapins of Maryland. One heck of a ball player. And this is one with the ball. Hoiberg. Oh, Bayless. Good hustle by Broadhurst. Broadhurst has been doing that all afternoon off the bench. They could get some post offense that would really help Henry Williams. And Odom's not an easy, he's not a bad player down there. He and Eden working hard. Williams for a deep three. Ah, Odom with the rebound. Boy, the big fella has been doing a nice job underneath. I mean, Odom fouled by Fred Hoiberg. He has gone, gone after it, but this is that pretty back cut. And the presence of mind, as you mentioned, unselfish, acknowledging that Odom's strong. I don't know that Odom wouldn't have gotten a lot of playing time had he stayed at UCLA, Billy. Well, they really didn't have a center, as it turned out. Uh -huh. It's right. a uh, forward-dominated shooting team, McLean and Tracy Murray. But that's not a bad year for them either. Not at all. Well, Jeff Mullins, glad to have him here. Odom leads all UNCC scores with 11 points. Henry Williams takes a seat on the bench. James Terrell in his place. Well, what was the line one of them gave us uh, about they like the inside game because the guys don't shoot? That's UNCC's guards philosophy. 49ers out in front by three with 14-20. Left in the game. Big pen, Hoiberg, McAlee. Spread the floor, reverse it a few times. Ryan Pearson and Howard Eaton, the five on the floor for Iowa State. And Eaton helped the official with that call as Malru Dotton picks up the personal foul. A strong push by Malru Dotton. <laughs> An unruly push <laughs> by Malru. Yeah, that's his nickname, as Jeff told us. First personal on Malru Dotton. Second team foul for the 49ers. Big pin launches a three. He nails it. Justice Big Pin averaging 15 points on the season. He's got 16. He likes the bright lights. Pearson in there, a pretty good shooter as well. So they've got some people who can face the ball. Broadhurst gets it back. Nice play. Good touch pass. That not known for that, would you say? <laughs> you know, I guess there's no such thing as a touch pass with him. 6'6", 220 pounds. Now, you're tired when you finish playing Iowa State. They're all cutting, quick motion. And Thigpen looks like he's ready to go to work. Hoiberg, nice follow. Fred Hoiberg with the follow, and it's a tie ball game. Stepping up the pressure a little bit without Williams in there. Looking to double if they can get the opportunity. Oh, 
Broadhurst looking for Odom on the inside. And I believe they got Howard Eaton on the foul as Rodney Odom tries to work free. You mentioned the ability to get it back. That was almost like a ricochet. That's what the post guys are for. Give it up. And Hoiberg, who we mentioned in the first half, a guy that's got great ability in or out, goes without the basketball and has that uncanny ability to offensive rebound. Henry Williams back in the lineup. Attempted follow that time, no good. Ryan Pearson over to Justice Big Pen. Big Pen, you can tell he's feeling it, Billy. Yeah, he is. He's dancing a little bit. A little shake and bake, trying to get by Williams. But he won't force the shot. He plays within this 2-3 set. Nice back cut. He almost had him. They've been looking to get one all game. This offense here, a little similar to the very Princeton offense. Very much. Mm -hmm. Syracuse ought to be scouting this game, huh? Nice step through. And Mikkeli can't get the drop. The 6'11 player from Czechoslovakia will take a trip to the free throw line. Boy, Eddie Sutton's team, Oklahoma State looking good. DePaul still trying to hang in. New Mexico State doing a nice job. Mm, sure are. And, and we looked over at the Iowa State bench. Jim Hallahan is the assistant standing up, and he does a lot of the physical nature of the business, so John can relax and get ready for the golf season. <laughs> but he said that he lets Hallahan talk to Nicoli. They have an understanding of one another. There they are, the two. On screen right is Hallahan and Johnny relaxed. Johnny Orr said he thought he would have retired about five years ago, but he's having fun because they're winning. All these good kids, he said. Mm -hmm. Of course, back home in Massachusetts where it all started for him. Coached at the university. Two-point lead by Iowa State. Dot. Well, he can touch pass, but squeezing that apple, and Mikalik with that side knows he got away with one. <laughs> Nice look and just a miscue. And that good defense, faulty offense. Dodden thinking a little bit ahead to what he was anticipating mm -hmm. was going to be a vicious dunk. Mm -hmm. Julius Mikalik. Johnny Orr very pleased with this play as Howard Eaton takes a seat on the bench. Lauren Meyer in the lineup for Iowa State. That's Ryan with the ball. Meyer's been up and down, according to the coaches. Hoiberg for three. Hoiberg oh. is a very poised player, Billy. Isn't rattled at all. Well, that's going to set up some back cuts. Big Pen and Hoiberg making the deep ones. They're going to have to be a little more aggressive outside. Five points, the biggest lead. Iowa State has enjoyed 48-43. They have a chance to add to it. And an attempted steal that time and foul called on Henry Williams. Season's field goal percentage. But we've got a tight ball game. Five-point lead by Iowa State. The biggest lead that either team has enjoyed in the game. And the overall approach defensively by Iowa State in containing Williams, very effective. Williams broke through a little earlier. And because this game court set's been tough to control for UNCC. Broadhurst with the rebound, and Broadhurst has really been springing off the bench and on the floor. Eight rebounds for Broadhurst. He brings some excitement to the floor for them. He makes things go. That he does. Here's a guy that should take it to the goal. Nice pass, Broadhurst. And Broadhurst is fouled by Mikalik. Nice pass from Odom. Not hard to believe that Broadhurst is the best dunker on the team. Not a great shooter, but can score. Really help explain that someone's not a great shooter, but they can score. Well, you get them a lot of shots. You get them in a position where you can create for them versus the guy that pops out and shoots that minimum amount of shots and makes them. Gets eight, makes six. Scores need more shots, more opportunities, but can be as damaging. Odom tries to keep it alive. It'll be Iowa State ball. 48-44, 11.06 remaining in the ball game. Iowa State on top. Saw a glimpse of Jeff Mullins there. He's been a winner every place he's been. 
Meyer now makes Mikalik a little more of a cutter and available. They, Dotton has to come out and play him. Meyer being the big center, they use him for the brush screens and the screen aways. Pearson, Hoiberg, Meyer, Fig Ken, and Mikalik, the five on the floor for Iowa State. walk he did not and he gets the basket out jump there down under 10 on the shot clock sequence biggest lead of the game Iowa State on top by six with 10 16 left to play go down screen for Williams Iowa State trying to pull the upset here oh. Williams nice pass to Odom great great look well that's his game he doesn't have to ring the bell create for others Attract attention and get rid of it. Pearson throws it off the hands of Julius Mikalik. It'll be 49ers basketball. Well, Odom could make a living, huh? Just keeping the hand set. He's had them up since breakfast. <laughs> Play with Williams. You don't want a red face. Catch it. Had the hands up since breakfast. <laughs> well, that's their game. Not to force it. Drive this. Ryan Pearson. Henry, I might say oh to you. I don't go inside against you. This is just gorgeous timing. And there is contact, but, oh, Bill, but let other, it go. On the lightest variety. On a little scrape. Oh. See the action, but that was just after. A terrific message, and Pearson saying, I didn't see that in high school. Pearson nails the first. He's one of those three-point shooters, and that puts them in deep trouble. Henry's got to be in the flow for UNCC. One of two for Pearson. Big pin gets the rebound. Stolen by the 49ers. Ahead to Terrell. Collects himself and scores. So Iowa State could have added to its lead instead of the turnover. And the 49ers cut it back to three. Nice pass by Mikalik. And it's a 53-48 Iowa State lead. 9.05 left in the game. Iowa State trying to pull the upset over the number seven seed, UNC Charlotte. Nice play here. They need to use the post guy of the double for this. Williams in and out, followed by Dotton. Malru Dotton, the big fella, drops in his eighth point, two over his average. Pretty well designed. That got your big guys down on the block for the offensive finish. Back to a three-point ball game. Iowa State on top. Big pin, feeling it, lets it go. Whose ball is it? Correct, correct call. Stays Iowa State. Correct call. Johnny Gray right on top of it. Bob Garibaldi in concert. Nice little Out eight pass. Fouled by Dotton. A breakdown defensively sure that time. Was. Little brush. And not enough support. An easy lane to the basket. Well, a lot of guys like zone on the out of bounds for this reason. You got everybody along the baseline. You don't concede that lay of potential. Hey, Bill, a little subtle thing also. Iowa State did not give UNC Charlotte any chance to set up defensively. They got the ball from the referee and pass it in right quickly. Guys napping. Before they're settled. Dropping in the first. Struggled a bit in conference play, but got better down the road. Howard Eaton. One of two at the free throw line. Odom with the rebound. A four-point lead for Iowa State. Broadhurst, Terrell, Williams, Odom, and Maru Dotton, the five in white for UNC Charlotte. He's shocked he was that open, J.D. Mm -hmm. Dotton gets the rebound. Fresh 45. Plenty of time. Terrell. Easy shots. 
for UNC Charlotte won't drop. One of ten for James Terrell. That's Harrison it. for two. Just two, huh? on the foot, on the line. Mm -hmm. That's his game. You got to come up on him. 7:43 left in a game. Iowa State nursing a six-point lead. Williams for three. That's why I said Nursey. You can't rest with this squad. What a stroke. Down to three, and Eaton is fouled. Take your pick, Broadhurst or Terrell. I think they give it to Broadhurst. All right. Get back and get set. Both clubs push the basketball. Look to organize off the break in the half court set. And there's a guy that Johnny Carson theme song hears. Johnny, usually played at home. And that surprised a lot of people, but not those people who watched Tulane all year. I talked about Jeff Mullins in glasses there being a winner wherever he's been. Mr. Basketball in Kentucky back in 1960. <laughs> Misses the free throw. He, Howard Heaton. You like the way Mullins used to shoot that jumper? Oh, boy. Duke University did as well. He led them to back-to-back -back Final Fours in 63 and 64. Think of big boobers when you think of them. I got away with that pass. Ah, brought her should have gone for the shot. Oklahoma State by 27 over Georgia Southern. So Eddie Sutton squad moves on. And we move on to a commercial break with Iowa State ahead by three. Hanging in throughout the entire game, scouting. Well, JB, a couple of them aren't paying close attention now. I'm sure Rick won't rely on their input. Well, they were actually awakened before the audience got a chance to see it, so. Well, better here than in the hotel room. Or in the tape session. 56-53, Iowa State on top. 6-54 left in the game. The number 10 seed leading the number 7 seed. Got a nice hole for him. Williams for three. Done. And it will be called traveling. Right Delano. now. Go ahead. I was just going to say. Oh, that's the shot. Oh. Oh, that, that was usually my timeout. <laughs> so Most Artie, of my guys would be acting that way. I can't believe Artie Kemper kept that shot. <laughs> <laughs> we tried to give him the benefit of the doubt. Now, that guy'll be running a for Patino. But then again, they deserve to nap. They did put in a good performance in game number one, knocking off ODU and awaiting the winner of this game here for round two from Worcester on Sunday. Oh, it's right there. Hoiberg, nice That's shot. All game, they've been running that guard around and doing a good job. 13 for Hoiberg, one above his season's average. Only a freshman. And Williams trying to work his way for a shot. That 2-3 set, interesting, the screen away, the step up. The pass to the post is what killed them, but just excellent going without the ball, as noted. Great Hoiberg. example. Great example, again, of movement without the ball. Motion offense working. They're spread, and they're continuing use of it, and a nice job by Pearson. Going to the goal at one time, the deep two-pointer, and Bayless able to match up on Williams. And Williams does a nice job of drawing the foul, drawing attention to it with a double clutch. Bayless just back into the ball game, replacing Brian Pearson. Second personal foul on Bayless. Sixth team foul for Iowa State. Five-point lead by Iowa State. 58-53, six minutes left in a contest. Williams at the free throw line, having some difficulty to say the least from three-point land. He's only one of six. One. Give Johnny Orr a little bit of credit for masterminding some nice defense to take him out of his game. And the look of concern, too. I think UNC's doing a better job hitting the offensive glass on misses. But the defensive end has paid attention to Williams. Now there's the back cut. They didn't go. 
Same play, JB. Now picture what I was saying earlier. If Think Pen puts a fist out, he's informing the point guard, Mikalik, the, the man with the basketball that time, that he's going to go. There's no question in either's mind that there will be a back cut. Can't be any indecision right. like that. We'll turn it over. Both teams with nine turnovers, speaking of turnovers. Tough to beat clubs with the dribble. Got to get it into the post. And Dotton. Look at him go after the top. Boy, knocking bodies around and Odom. Go up strong. Still can't get it. Nikolic with the rebound. He's on target. I mean, that was... Uh, and Henry Williams came down trying to avoid Eden, who was on the floor, and may have wrenched his knee. Oh, would that be crucial? As Howard Eaton fell on the floor, Williams was trying to avoid him and watch him come down, Billy. Oh, this was set up early. No reason for Eaton to get in there. And the rollover, as you mentioned. So Eaton actually looked like he may have hit him. We got Williams right in here, JB, and we'll just check and see what happens at the end of it. His body hit that knee. Trying to jam in to Watch help it. Oh, right there. my Ooh. goodness. You know, hopefully it was lower than the knee, James. But he's grabbing that right knee, the right outside of the knee. You know, you see that so often in football where a running back may have his leg planted when he's hit. And the good thing yes. is that he did, in fact, lift his leg up as opposed to taking the full brunt of it. And now what he's upset about is he has to go out and have to charge the timeout. And this is how he was right after the contact. Fluke situation. Now, if it is not serious, it will be important for him to get back in right. quickly to keep loose. He's got to wait, wait till it's inbounded at least once. Thompson, Broadhurst, Dotton, Terrell, Rodney Odom. The five on the floor for UNC Charlotte. Terrell from three-point land. Well, they forget their big guys, don't they? Oh, boy, they need to remember them. Dotton, Odom down there, Peggy. Boyberg with the rebound. A three-point Iowa State lead. Make it five. Excellent look. Good cut. And Eden with the score. And the steal by Bayless. Oh, on the shot. Hammered. They're going to give it a shot, and it'll be a three-pointer. Mauro Dotton, and you saw Mikalik. He asked, hey, is that a three? Oh, it should is be. Is that a three? Not yours saying it. Let's see what they call. And Bob Garboldi's waving it off, saying he had it, not just. <laughs> I don't blame Johnny. Trying to force it anyway. Oh. So it's a one and one they, situation instead. Eighth team foul for UNCC. Well, the initial, uh, he was inside yeah. too, mm -hmm. so it wouldn't matter. But they you can't, it off. You, you can't fault the kid Nickel for asking, you know. Oh, right. <laughs> Our guy's right on top of it. Julius Mikalik, a 77% free throw shooter on the season. He's got 10 thus far. That's what you call a sales pitch. Czechoslovakia to Ames. Mm -hmm. Think about that. That's a long way from home. But then again, well, no, I guess I, yeah, you're right. Good sales pitch. Great atmosphere, and I'm sure he enjoyed that when he first saw it. Have you been there for a home game? It's absolutely wild in that building. That's why they upset so many people. Or beat people. Not all of them are upsets. Iowa State trying to add to its biggest lead of the game. Big 10, and he does. A 64-55 lead, and Jeff Mullins has to talk it over with 4.07 left in the game. Stayed up on top of UNCC. Here's JB. And Henry Williams gets the basket for UNC Charlotte. But Iowa State, the number 10 seed here in the East region, trying to hold on for the upset of the seventh seed at UNC Charlotte 49ers. 3.36 left in the ball game. James Brown along with Bill Raffrey. And Bill, it's been a nip and tough ball game most of the way. Well, the, the defense by Iowa State on Williams and Terrell particularly, they're normally 44% of their offense. They're only getting 20% at five for 25. That's been important for Iowa State. UNC, that get nice for a move. The big guy, Nick Demise.
realized it was bound to happen. Not used to playing that far from the goal. We said at the top, Julius Mikalik was a pleasant surprise for Johnny Orr this season, and he showed why. He's got 13 points, one above his average. Dot. Boy, Dot uses that body nicely. Mm -hmm. They should use him nicely. A I little agree. bit more. I agree. Johnny Orr wanted to go inside. Now, you mentioned Johnny Orr, the guy right there usually allows his assistant to do most of the active moving along the bench. Huh? Well, he can feel this one with three minutes left. He might as well exert some influence. But that's confidence in your staff. He's been through a lot, whether Mass or Michigan. And Dotton, in an area that's had their difficulties in the real estate business, investing on that shot. Congrats to the lineup for UNC Charlotte, replacing Rashawn Thompson. Mauru Dutton. Man has been an acad on the academic honor road three straight Rip. semesters. So not only doing it on the court, but off the court. And look at Mikalik with the behind the back move and put Odom on the floor. Dutton with the rebound. What a move by the big fella. 6-11. He knows the game. The games we were watching, he did some magical things. Boy, Odom will not like to see the highlight that time. Falling on the floor, trying to go for the behind-the-back dribble. Broadhurst, short. Eaton with the rebound. 2.30, left in the game. 66-57, Iowa State on top. Hey, James, you may see some back cuts now. Iowa State very good going without the ball, and UNC C liable to gamble. Both teams with 18 fouls. The single bonus situation. Running some clock unless they get an easy one. Iowa State with three timeouts remaining to 49 with two, and there's an offensive charge. Odom, heads up play on the floor, but he prefers to be on the floor this time as opposed to the previous time. Well, this is a couple of 6'10", 6'11", guys. One handling the other. Oh. The stare would look on in disdain. <laughs> Gorgeous control with the bounce. Now, how many times do you think Odom's friends will remind him of that one? <laughs> Family. 66 57, 150 left in the game. Iowa State trying to complete the upset. Terrible. A two. Two of 12, and Iowa State throws it away. That man, Terrell, again, as Jet Mullen calls a timeout. The 49ers trailing Johnny Orr's team by five with 128 left in the game. Massachusetts East Region first round action between the number seven seed UNC Charlotte and the 10th seed at Iowa State Cyclones Iowa State on top by five with 128 remaining James Brown along with Bill Raftery and while UNC Charlotte has not been able to get the productivity from the backcourt they have hung in the game with other performance coming through well, some strong performance when you think of the defense of Iowa State Doing a job on Henry Williams. We take a look at our game summary now. Bring people up to date. Look at those lead changes. 21 <laughs> lead changes and five ties. And Iowa State has improved its field goal shooting. That accounts, again, for the difference in the score. UNCC shooting below its average from the field, 39%. But we've had a good ball game. Kentucky in game one shook off a pesky and hustling ODU team. Kentucky advances to the second round action on Sunday from here in Worcester. Kentucky will await the winner of this contest. Later on this evening, it'll be Massachusetts and Fordham and Syracuse and Princeton. And James, the 
We'll take a look at some of the night basketball games. Wake Forest, Louisville. Of course, we'll be here. Howard versus Kansas. Fordham, Massachusetts, 7.30. And Temple and Michigan. But this Iowa State game against UNCC, you think of the defense. Patino getting ready. He's going to have to prepare. They take you out of things. Bayless has done a great job on Henry Williams with the team helping as well. The half-court offense, Nikoli finding people. They've been going without the basketball and getting good shots. UNCC relying on the three-pointers. They're only one of 13, as the graphic showed. And they're also relying on Williams and Terrell. They've got to get some inside baskets, get something out of their pressure now if they're going to sneak back in this. You talk about that backcourt starting combination of UNC Charlotte. Only 21 points in the game from those two combined. So Johnny Orr has certainly done the job there. UNC Charlotte with one timeout remaining and a foul is called. Three timeouts remaining for Iowa State with 127 left. Possession arrow in favor of the 49ers. And that one, when you're behind, you only have one. It makes it difficult to stop the clock and get organized. So they're going to have to communicate well on a score and a defensive full court pressure situation. Deshaun Thompson takes a seat on the bench. On Bayless at the free throw line. He's got five points on the afternoon, seven below his average. Make it six. His and it's a six-point lead by Iowa State. His contribution has been at the other end. You know, he's going to smile after this one if Iowa State holds on because Bayless said that he would, in fact, shut down Henry Williams. He's held him to seven points below his average with some help. Williams gets a three. And maybe speaking a little too quickly here. Williams with 16 points. And it's down to a four-point Iowa State lead. Back in Worcester, Iowa State on top by four, 116 remaining, and a quick foul as James Terrell fouls Justice Thigpen. UNCC Charlotte out of timeouts. Iowa State a full complement. Both teams in a single bonus situation, mm -hmm. nine apiece. Possession arrow in favor of the 49ers. And when you look at Jeff Allen's club, great preparation. Go for the steal, be aggressive, don't get it, stop the clock quickly. So all the communication has been done in practice to prepare for these situations. You saw the score there as Cincinnati, a final and a winner. Jeff Mullins looking on. Big pin at the free throw line, 4-1-1. One and, one. and big pin. Nails the first one, 19 points for Justice Thigpen, four above his season average. Make it 20, and a six-point lead for Iowa State with 110 left in the game. Williams gets a pick from Odom. And the deep jumper for three is off the mark by Thompson. Could be and a touchdown, yep, good call. Good call, get the two. Plus the ball. You want to be aggressive on the miss, the errant toss, an egg full, and right away trying to stop it. You can't be that obvious. You've got to slap on the wrist or make it some incidental contact, but foul, not grab or anything direct or overt. Jeff Mullins. Keeping on top of the action there as he's talking to James Terrell, trying to keep his squad in. 49ers trailing by six, 70 to 64. Big pin at the line. Misses the first. More action coming up tonight. Most of you will see Wake Forest taking on Louisville. The game's in red asterisk there. Two points of local interest. Those were 7.30 starts. And Big Pen missing both free throws. But as you mentioned, Bill Raftery, Iowa State still with the ball. Big pin will inbounds. Oh, oh no, be now 
it is. Hoiberg, yeah. He's and Hoiberg up. does get the foul called on him. Well, that's the ideal if you're UNCC. Clock not moving. It is a giveaway. Hoiberg doesn't have to get involved. You've got to avoid that kind of position. He's saying he just fell. Iowa State falls on the 32, Fred Hoiberg. They step forward as we get right in here. They step. You can't get involved even though there is a fake some theatrics involved in all of life. You've got to make a circular cut in that situation. Don't give the officials a chance to see it. And you win a double bonus situation now. Ten team fouls for both as Henry Williams will attempt two free throws. An 81% free throw shooter. He drops in the first. And they're saying they got the wrong shooter on the line. Johnny Orr screaming and hollering. <laughs> Johnny Gray say, no, we got the right shooter. Jeff Mullins isn't arguing. Not at all. <laughs> watch out, watch out. And Williams nails both. A four-point ball game, under a minute to play. And a foul call. On Williams, lengthening the game, wise philosophy. You, on the other hand, Iowa State have to make the free throws in this situation if you're going to walk out and move on. And again, both teams in the double bonus situation as Fred Hoiberg travels to the free throw line and 82% free throw shoot. A little better situation. The right to face Kentucky. On the line. And Hoiberg misses the first. As Brian Pearson comes in for Iowa State, replacing Howard Eaton. And when you're out of timeouts, as Charlotte happens to be, giving those fouls immediately, have been able to get this close. Malru Dotton in, replacing Bershawn Thompson. And Lauren Meyer comes in to replace Brian Pearson. One of two for Hoiberg, a five-point ball game with 57 seconds remaining. Iowa State has to make Williams use the dribble, take time to score. Don't want to foul if at all possible. And they must hold him for three. Why he gets it? A three-point shot by Odom. 17 points, and it's a two-point ball game. The big guy, confident in his stroke. Earlier took that foul eye. Not everybody expecting Williams. Rodney Odom converting. I believe that may have been his first. I was looking at my sheet. I don't think he's taking a three, or is he, that's the first one he's made. It's the first one he's made. <laughs> Unlikely. Bayless with both. 73, 69, 38 seconds left. They could go for the two. Williams. And Dotton over the back as Hoiberg will take a trip to the free throw line. Hoiberg showed you something there, didn't he? The physicalness of that particular area of the country, and he's able to hold off enough to get the foul. Again, a review of the scores. Tulane with a big victory over St. John's. Michigan State holding on and holding off Southwest Missouri State. Kentucky with the spurt in the last five minutes of the game, up in the ODU. Oklahoma State, a big winner over Georgia Southern. And Hoiberg missing the first free throw again, the front end of the free throws, causing Hoiberg a problem. Four of six from the free throw line on the afternoon for Hoiberg. 74-69, 30 seconds left. Williams to Terrell, and Terrell. Broadhurst battling, gets the rebound. Can't get the drop. 
but does on the follow. Got to give one right away. They got the clock stopped as the ball goes into An the... official stoppage of yeah. play. Three points separating the two teams with 16.1 seconds remaining. And Johnny Orr calls a timeout with Iowa State nursing a three-point lead. Save another person's life. Meet everyday people who live right next door and who are real-life heroes. Saturday at 9. Iowa State up by three. 16.1 seconds remaining. The touchdown pass to Hoiberg and the slam. Well, Johnny Orr not sleeping over there. They bear demand everybody. Sent the long home run play. And Williams with the three just to narrow the gap. But Iowa State pulls off the upset. The number 10 seed over the number 7 seed by 2.7674. And give the credit to Johnny Orr, whose team did a masterful job defensively, specifically Ron Bayless on Henry Williams, although Williams closes up the game with that deep three there. So the final score, game two here in the East Region, Iowa State 76-74 over UNCC. So the matchup is set for Sunday between Kentucky and Iowa State. The Chevrolet players of the game are Julius, make that Julius Mikalik, 13 points, 5 rebounds from Iowa State, and Henry Williams, 21 points.